Hello, Joan here. Today we're going to be working with trap code particular and we're going to be creating or simulating rain with it. Okay, so first thing, we create a new composition that I'm going to call rain, new solid in the composition. I'm going to call it background. I'm going to change the color for something more reddish. Okay. So now I create a new solid. I call it rain and I will apply trap code particular to it. Okay. Okay, so here we have the particles. We're going to change the emitter type to box. And we're going to change the size of the emitter on the X, on the Y, and on the Z. Okay, now that we have the box set up, we're going to move it on top, almost outside the composition window. Okay, so next thing we're going to be doing is changing the velocity of the particles down to 10, more or less. And we're going to add physics. To these particles, we're going to increase the gravity actually a lot because we really want them to fall. Okay, you see how they are falling? We're going to go to the meter now. I'm just readjusting a little bit the emitter size. Okay, and I'm going to move it, the emitter up. Basically, just to make sure that all the particles are coming from outside the composition, not from inside. So now, in order to make those particles look like raindrops, we're going to go to Rendering option. We're going to go down to Motion Blur. We're going to activate the Motion Blur. Okay, looking better now. So next thing, I'm turning off the visibility of the background so we have more contrast with the black and white. All right. So let's keep readjusting the parameters. Okay, I'm just moving up again the position of the particle emitter box. I'm going to change the size of the particles to two. Well, it might be complicated to see on the screen depending on the compression of the video. I'm going to change the background to a bluish color because it will give it a more interesting feel. But yeah, instead of changing the color, I'm just going to apply a, a ramp to it. It will give it a colder feeling, no doubt, with a bluish color. Okay, so... And now there are many things we, we can be adjust over here. So for instance, I could duplicate the layers, the rain layers, you know, so that will increase the intensity of the raindrops. I could also use those uh, layers that I've duplicated and offset them to have some variations, which we will do in, in a short. But let's keep with, this, uh, with a single layer so far. Okay, so I'm gonna modify the opacity randomness of these particles, okay? So not all the particles are equal on transparency. Then I'm going to modify the number of particles per second. Remember that I'm just tweaking the parameters, just playing a little bit to show you some variations and what is it that you might be looking for. Okay. I'm just going to move the rain layer in the timeline. So it actually starts with the uh, rain already in it. Okay, what else we are going to be changing here? Yeah, let's create some offset. One way to do it is basically I can change one of the layers opacity straight away. Also, I'm going to work with a third layer now, which I'm going to call a uh, side rain, which means that the rain is going to be coming from one side. So how do I do that? Well, it's basically have to go to physics, air, and modify the win x uh, value. So you see by modifying it, I'm moving the direction of the particles. 
But the problem is that they are still falling straight, although they are moving from left to right. One thing I may have to do is like readjust the emitter box size so that the rain covers the full screen. There we go. And now the next thing, rendering. I'm going to be playing with motion blur. And notice what happens when I actually change the type of motion blur from linear to subframe sample. Drops are just going on the direction we want. The only problem we have is that the resolution is a little bit low. So we'll increase the number of levels and that will solve the problem. Okay. Now, if I want more intensity on those uh, drops, I can always uh, modify the opacity boost that will enhance the intensity of those drops. Okay, so now I have two layers. One of them is falling from up down and the other one is just is throwing the rain from to the side. So if I combine both of them and I create some variations in them, I will create some depth on the composition. I'm just tweaking the values right now. It's, if you, for instance, change a shutter angle in the motion blur, you can make those drops longer or shorter. As I say, I'm just tweaking the values, the parameters, just to try to look for something a little bit different that gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful for you.